Good morning. Welcome to New Life. What a joy to have you join us for our morning worship. I am Venetia Graham, and I have your news for this Sunday, February 18th. We are still celebrating Black History Month 2024, African Americans and the Arts. Did you know that Phyllis Wheatley was the first African American author of a published book of poetry? The New Life office will be closed tomorrow for President's Day, but will reopen on Tuesday morning. New Life, get ready for our leadership conference entitled, We've Got Work to Do, on Saturday, March 9th, from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. This conference is destined to be like none other. It is designed to give you a clear vision of where we've come from, where we are, and where we will go from here. The conference will open with an address and presentation from Pastor Ellison, then directives for the conference. A brief overview of each session will be given after which we will break out to the sessions. Topics will include Six Star Ministry, Building Your Effective Leadership Team, Key to Ministry Vision Fulfillment, Mental Health, Recruiting, Organizing, and Engaging Volunteers for Effective Church Ministry, Financial Success in the Kingdom of God, Evangelism, Leading the Congregation to the Community, Health and Wellness, Who Do You Say You Are? The Servant Leader. Every session will be an hour, 45 minutes of lecture, and 15 minutes of question and answer. This will allow you at least three sessions of your choosing. This conference is for every member of New Life. Every member is a leader of something. Again, mark your calendars for Saturday, March 9th, from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. The conference is absolutely free. The Alabama First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction will have its spring workers meeting March 11th through the 16th at Annex 2. This year's theme is We've Got Work to Do. Pastor Ellison is asking for auxiliary leaders and the ministerial staff to join him on a Zoom call next Sunday evening at 4 p.m. concerning New Life hosting the spring workers meeting. The Zoom link will be sent out this week. If you have not received it by Friday, please call our office. The Men Perfecting Men Conference will be held in Mobile, Alabama from May 7th to May 9th. Registration is complimentary up to April 14th. Pastor Ellison is asking all of the men of New Life to register to attend. There will be an in-house deacon board meeting at the Mother Church on March 2nd at 9 a.m. That's right, deacons. You are resuming in-house meetings. For the ones who cannot make it to the in-house meeting, Please use the dial-in number as usual. There will be a Deacon's Wives Meet, Greet, and Fellowship on February 24th at Annex 6, beginning at 10 a.m. All Deacon's Wives are encouraged to attend. District Missionary Marcella Peoples will be the guest speaker. 400 Filmwork Productions presents A Nation Within. I always like to say that you've heard of the Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street, You've heard of Harlem Renaissance. What you've not heard of is the Tuskegee story, which presents itself as a model for black nationalism by blacks owning, building, controlling their communities. Even though the private screening is free, you must go to Eventbrite and register. Attention all Carver, JAG, and Central High School students. You have an opportunity to join the Upward Bound Math and Science program at Alabama State University for free. Please see Evangelist Kimberly McKinney for more details about joining this free program. Youth Bible study is every first and third Tuesday night and youth choir rehearsal is every second and fourth Tuesday night at Annex 2 in the cafeteria. Both start at 7 p.m. and will end at the conclusion of Tuesday night Bible study. Girls dance practice will be every third Saturday 
from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at Annex 6. Join us in person for Bible study on Tuesday nights at Annex 2, beginning at 7 p.m. Co-pastor-led Bible study is held every Wednesday at Annex 5, beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. You can also watch it online, on Facebook, and YouTube. Ladies, Bible study with our First Lady, Lady J, is on Thursdays at Annex 5, beginning at noon. Don't forget to join us at 7 p.m. for Virtual Sunday School on Saturday nights. If you can't make it to service in person, you can watch any or all of our annexes on Facebook or YouTube. Please keep in mind, we will have baptismal service every first Sunday immediately following the 9.30 service at Annex 2. Please call the office or see our website regarding dates and deadlines pertaining to baptism. We have several different ways to pay your tithes and offerings, whether in person or virtually. You can give in person during service, online on our website, or you can use Cash App from your mobile device. You can also mail it to the church office. Let's continue staying safe and keeping one another lifted up in prayer. Please be in prayer for Mother Alberta Bivens, as well as the Palmer family, as she lost her husband, Brother Al J. Bivens. Funeral services will be held in Annex 2 on Wednesday, beginning at 11 a.m. Prayers are being requested for co-pastor Kyle and Kimberly McKinney, as he lost his father, Billy Ray McKinney, on Friday morning. Services will be announced. And our thought for the week. Do the best that you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. Now, let's get back to our worship. <laughs> 